And with that, you got a guy like Craig Jones. Let's hopefully he gets his credit where it's due for ruffling the feathers. Makes the CJI tournament the same day as the ADCC. Same goddamn concept. ADCC could be USA Wrestling. Yeah, there's 20 different jujitsu entities. The ADCC is the coveted, most exclusive premier event every two or four years, is it? What is, and you get, it's like their Olympics, right? The ADCC is for grapplers. And what do you get if you win? 10, 10 grand? What do you get for selling out the stadium? Nothing. You show up, you get your leg broken for free. Like, ridiculous. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. You are, you know, you're fighting. It's not even wrestling where you might get slammed in your neck. You might get paralyzed at worst. You know, it's it's like we're literally trying to break each other's limbs and bones here. You better have the best insurance if you're showing up to this shit. You know what I mean? Or guys like me and Bellator. They only cover you when you're in the fight. I'm training for my fight. I can't even use the insurance because it didn't happen in the fight. Then you go and fight, and yeah, I got to lie and make up 20 injuries that happened in the fight because I showed up with a broken rib. I showed up with a torn knee because motherfucker couldn't get no insurance to cover it because you're only covered in the actual fight. You know what I mean? So there's all this weird stuff here. So a guy like Craig coming in saying, look, y'all, we got a million dollars. And here's 10 bands for everybody that shows up. We're going to stream it for free. Like, what? Who's Yeah, it's that? on YouTube. Everyone go what? get in. Yeah, well, that, YouTube that'd be dope. for free. And this guy out here, I'm not familiar. I've never met the guy who owns ADCC. Uh, I believe his name is Mo. You know, yeah. he's got years. They got Abu Dhabi money, this, that, the third. All this money to put into the marketing. You know, probably flow, grappling, making their VIG on every membership and sign up and tune in to purchase. You know, I'm sure they got streaming rights sold and they it's in the T Mobile arena. They got probably got fire coming out. It's gonna be sick, right? It's gonna be sick. Now what does that tell you? To make a sick event like that and put a sick fucking event like that on that they're selling out. They're making money. What's the big the tickets? They probably got people up close paying fifteen thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand dollars spots to watch. A uh, Gordon Ryan on a Nicky Rod, too. Juiced up, highly trained, motherfucking barbaric beef heads. There's people that get off to this shit. They just want to come there and watch these motherfuckers, right? All the best in the world do their thing. You would think that all the best in the world doing their thing, entertaining all these fanatics, would get a little something more than, like, a, a free flight or a hotel. Like, like, I would love to know what the event generates and the revenue. And actual profit, net profit after overhead said and done, everybody's paid out. And then I would love to know the percentage of money given back to the athletes. Because there should be some type of union or a stipulation that says at minimum half the money generated goes to the athletes. With all all combat events worldwide. Like I know it's not you know, I know it's feasible not business minded. I know it's not how ever gonna be feasible, but uh you know what I mean? It would just be great to see some type of athletic unionship come in and protect combat athletes that essentially, you know, like me, showing up a lot of times with no team, no coach, just a freelancer getting paid for your skills, getting flown around. You know, I was in Dubai with the Russians. Now I'm in South Miami with the Brazilians. You know what I mean? I don't do this shit with a manager or a team or anything or a coach. You know what I mean? Like, who do you know in the game making their career like me? 